Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and today I have something a little bit different for you. Yes, it's still a match, but uh, we moved away from college. I still have like seven, eight or nine videos from college that I'll be posting in the next coming weeks, but I just thought for today I'd change a little bit of scenery um, and show you a pro match that I actually just played uh, a couple weeks ago. So a more recent and um, kind of good to see how I measure myself against pro players. So yeah, this is my first round match of the 25K plus H. Um, tournament in Ayacho, France, and it's my last tournament before I stop um, and start doing shockwave therapy for my left wrist to finally try and get this um, issue fixed um, so I can hit normal back end. So even here, my back end is still so so, but um, yeah, I thought it'd be just a cool change for, for a little bit and just show you this match today. And then from next week, you'll see some more of my college matches. But as of, as of now, enjoy. After getting through qualifying, I faced a really strong opponent, Ozzy James McKay, ranked 332 ATP. He was in quite some good form as a week prior he qualified for an ATP 250 in Eastwood, beating some top 100 players along the way. He also played the Australian Open main draw this year, so a pretty tough opponent. The score takes a second to update, but I'll make sure it's up to time with the next few points. Straight away I get a breakpoint chance at 30-40 in the first game, but yeah, nothing I can do on that serve. Houston, and yeah, I think you'll be able to tell by now what his best shot is. Three rockets in a row and break chance is gone just like that. I'm 30 love up in this game, and you know, I've really got nothing to lose this match. Luckily for me, he didn't play my, to my back end as much as I expected him to, but he did have his back end down the line solution. We get to deuce here as I miss a few too many balls trying to be aggressive, and I'm trying to be active here as, and get as many forms as I possibly can. It doesn't always seem like it, but the ball always comes back very quickly. Definitely a higher pace than what I'm used to calling. I go to his foreign line on the stretch here, and he misses the slice. Second game point here, and my foreign after my serve is not great, but luckily he misses. It's really good to get that game against him, because it took off some pressure from me, and now I can try to focus on returning these big serves. I noticed this high cross ball caused some errors. But yeah, in case you're guessing, my wrist situation it still hurts, and the backhand sucks as a result of it. 40-15 up in the next game, and a double fault kinda out of nowhere. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is that I hit another double fault the very next point on 40-30 and gift him the deuce. I finally make a second serve on deuce, but he takes advantage of the weak pace to put pressure and come forward with the back end on. And I play a few good shots, or so I thought, but that's not enough. First break point down and god forbid I make a first serve. I always have to start from behind on my serve. Anyway, the rally is pretty neutral here until I hit this big down the line four and which really changes things around. I could have done better with this approach, but he misses, thank god. Deuce again, and I finally a first serve, but this inside out is no good, although I'm still hitting foreign, so I don't consider myself behind in the rally just yet. That's about the best back end I have right now, and it's still painful. I clearly miss here, although the ball isn't called. But then I miss again. And I have a break point then. Tough giving him the break and inevitably he serves some bombs and holds easily to go up for one. It sucks that it's only one break but it feels like you're so far back. But anyway I continue to ponder on, trying to build confidence with the foreign and being aggressive, trying to forget those two double falls. Bad drop shot here but he misses. 40-30, a good first serve and then a low slice. He misses the approach, so 4-2 now. He's 30-15 up now and despite me making the return, he just hits the winner on the open court. Yeah, looking at the statistics after my match, the points won on his first serves were very very few. Anyway, the score is deuce now and I'm not giving up. These balls are getting a bit slower so maybe it's time to try and sneak in a break. A foreign line which could have been good but he gets it really deep, pretty much flips the point. As with my back end passing shot, I missed the entire surface area of the court. Heavy second serve on my back end, and then four into the other side, like he's done before. But this time I miss. 5-2 then, and I feel like I'm doing better little by little, as his service games are getting closer. Now I just need to make sure I do enough on mine, so I wouldn't be in danger.
One of the rallies here where he does trap me to my backhand side. And part of why he didn't do it as much is because he had trouble playing the backhand cross when he played fast from there. But also he wasn't moving around the forehand a lot and I didn't really understand why. He approaches here and I hit a good passing shot. But on the very reach he makes a volley. At this point I had to at least make him serve it out, you know? And this one he winner guarantees me at least that. Honestly, I think at this point we're pretty much even. Just a stupid break was separating us. But he was obviously still very strong on his serve. This passing shot here doesn't get through, but I love him next as he's very close to the net. And that's a good stolen point there. I know he's going to kick wide with the second serve by now, but again, due to my bad wrist, I can't quite do much more than essentially just make it. And that gives him an advantage. I throw up a lob, and then really try everything possible to steal this point as well. Thirty fifteen, and really important point if you want to stay in the set. Forty fifteen, and after a decent return, I tried that heavy foreign cross, but unfortunately, shank it. Starting off the second set with the right foot is essential, so I double fold. I don't like serving new balls in such delicate moments because I feel like I can't control them well. Anyway, this return is clearly out and I don't know what the referee is doing here, honestly. As you can see, I'm shocked here and I'm trying to argue. Just look at that, a good 10 centimeters out at least. One point each next and we're 15-40. And as you can see, I'm playing safe with some extra spin here. And yeah, just I find it difficult to play loose and free with the arm with brand new balls on serve. You know, at least the balls we start the match with, we warm up with them. Um, here I feel like any big hit could just go to the fence. Anyway, I play this slice going back and try to save my wrist, and definitely not the best shot to be doing that, but he misses. I win the next point, but another miss and it's add out. And a bit of regret re-watching this four in here, I feel like I could have done so much with it, but instead it's just slow middle. We stay on the four in here, and I keep pretty good depth, before I switch line. As I get ready to come to the net, I just miss the four and wide, and yeah, I really threw away that break here. Obviously with new balls it was going to be even more difficult to break him back, as his pace was very very high. So 2-0 down, and this game, let me tell you, in any match is vital. It's one of the last trains you can catch to stay in this match. A late and questionable call here. I'm honestly not sure even from the replay if it looks like it clips a little bit, but you know, very hard to tell. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I have to try and do my best here, you know, be aggressive and not scared. And I go straight away down the line here, and maybe I should do this more often. I get to 40-30, and both our backhands are short, so he tries to sneak in a slice approach here. And I hit my usual cross court pass, just out of the volley. The focus switched to breaking again now, but tough when he serves like this. But luckily not every point he made a first serve, so I had some chances I could capitalize on. The fact I couldn't be aggressive with the return though, meant I always had to build a point from the back. Once again, the heavy foreign cross plus down the line was proved to be a really effective combo. 30 all then, big point. Rare and forced on a big moment. This is my chance, and we even start on a second serve, so I need to do all I can to stay in this. A couple foreigns crossed and another miss by him. There's a break back. By the way, sorry if the video is choppy and starts lagging a little bit now. Um, for some reason the camera that was on there just started doing this, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, love 15 here and the last thing I want to do is throw away all my effort. And as you can see, I'm fighting hard here. But I get a bit tired in the rally and end up missing. Lot 30, and really important point. This while you'll see me hit the most backhands in a single point. But you can see they're not really full swings, and I'm just trying to survive out there. Anyway, I'll let you enjoy the point.
One point each, and we're 50 40. He misses the four in here, and I try to pump myself. Serve wide and inside in without any second thoughts, and he misses the pass. Huge point to go to deuce. I need one more point to win this game, and no need to take big risks here. Just aggressive and margins is the way to go. On 3-2 I'm really trying to go hold for hold here, and hopefully me leading for the first time in the match will put some kind of pressure on him as well. 3 all at 50 love, as and as you can see on my serve I'm more aggressive and use angle more. Inside in followed by big and fast 4 in line, which puts me off 30 love. Good to get a smooth hold like that and put the scoreline back in his hands. He serves quite a bit out, but of course it doesn't get called so we play on. I'm being moved side to side straight away, and I've really learned that in these cases against these better players you have to stay solid and not try to overdo it with impossible win. I play my heavy defensive foreign and try to go line with the next ball, but he gets a really good angle and I just miss it deep this time. He gets up 40 love and I'm on the run again. I try my pattern of heavy and then down the line, but again just wide. There's no other way to say it, this is the game of truth. He showed no signs of nervousness so far, but... If I can get a hold here, maybe I can get him to shake a bit. Of course, after having missed every passing shot this match, he makes this one. Love 15, and we play the longest rally of the match. I get up 30-15 and I have this 4 and I can do damage here and it just, just goes on the nest trap. So unlucky here, just look at that. 30 all. Right away I want to do damage with this 4 and now as I'm about to approach I decide to play baseball instead. It's funny you know, it's easy to say that I choked but it's not as if I was scared or did a half swing or my body wasn't positioned well. It was just a clean hit but a pure shank that just came at the completely wrong time obviously. Anyway it's 30-40 now. Half shanked approach and a ball in the bottom of the net. This is more of a choke job than the point before in my opinion. All he needs to do now is serve for the match. I still point though and it's 15 0 Huge ace team. Close enough to another ace. 40-15 and once again a huge serve to seal the win. 6-3, 6-4. Yeah, tough. I don't think it was a bad performance by me, but if you consider, you know, he beat top 100 players just one week prior and I still had a half back in the most. Um, but yeah, he was definitely able to pick up his level in some parts of the match, especially with a serve. But I think blame is on me as well for that 4 all game and that uh, game where I did a 2 double faults in first set and I really could have done better there. He ended up making the semi-finals of the tournament, which showed his good form. And as for me, it's finally time to take a break and try to heal my wrist. I still have quite a few college matches I will be posting over the next couple of weeks, and then hopefully I'll be back on tour and I'll be able to take you with me.